Comment 1134 um, reminds you that even though that has got a single answer, namely 3, and uh, GCSE students will know that roots can be expressed with fractional powers, even though that's got one answer, they're both 3, there are clearly two answers to this equation because 3 fits but also negative 3 fits. If you square negative 3 you get 9 just as much as if you square 3. So in other words if you see the root symbol or you see the fractional power there's just one answer. That is the result of the kind decision made by the inventor of the symbol that it would only have one answer. That was his or her decision because they got to invent the symbol. That doesn't change the fact that there are two answers to any equation with squaring. The difference is you don't see the symbol there. You do not see the fractional power there. Therefore you have to use your own common sense and conclude that there are two answers. This is even the case where you can't say what the numbers in the answer are. So if x squared equaled k, um, if only I knew what k was I would square root it. So write that. Write that the square root of k is one answer. But it's not the only answer. It's also Ne sorry, negative square root of k is the other answer as well. So the fact that there are two solutions to any squared expression equation um, where you can't physically see the root symbol, um, that's what comment 1134 is about.